everybody. It's good to be back with you once again and I hope you're all well and all had a good week. And um, today we're going to be looking at one of Christ's miracles. It's the stilling of the storm. It's when the storm came and Jesus spoke to the wind and the sea and he calmed the storm. And um, we're going to be in Mark 4, 35 to 41. So I, I think we might just read that portion of the Word of God because it's only very short. So I think we'll read that. So, um, And the same day, when even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that now it was full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea? obey him. And so that's, we ask the Lord to bless that reading of the word to our hearts and we'll just have a little prayer to ask God to be with us. So if you'd like to close your eyes and bow your heads and we just say a short prayer. Dear Lord God and Father in heaven, thank you Lord for all the children who are listening in today and I just pray Lord that you would bless each one of them Lord, bless the word of God to their hearts, Lord. I pray for salvation for each child and I pray, Lord, that today each one of them would come to a greater knowledge of the things of God and have more trust in the Lord Jesus. And I just pray, Lord, you be with me as I teach the children and help me, Lord, and I pray you pour out your spirit upon us, Lord, and bless us, Lord, for we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so... Today we will learn how Jesus had power over the weather, and it was a miracle. And miracles were signs to show us about great and important things. And Jesus showed his great power by his miracles. They were signs to show us who he was. Jesus was at the Sea of Galilee with his disciples, and he had been teaching the people all day. And there were lots of people there, some people listened, others did not. And he was sitting in a boat, and it was evening time. And Jesus said they should cross to the other side. He had worked hard all day, and now he wanted to move on. And in Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38, we read that Jesus went about doing good. Jesus did lots of good things. He preached the gospel of the, of the kingdom of God and, and he, he healed the people. He, he made the blind to see, the lame to walk, he raised the dead. He, he fed people. He, he did lots and lots of good things. And when we read that Jesus went about doing good. And the disciples sent the people away. And they took Jesus as he was in the boat. He had no coat to keep him warm or cloak or anything on him. They just took him as he was. There were other boats with him too, little boats. And then the sea became rough. And you know, life is like the sea. It can be calm and quiet, and then it can be troublesome. We have good times and we have bad times. We need help. We, we, we need the Lord in our life. And as Jesus and his disciples sailed on the sea, there was a great storm. And the wind blew, and the water came into the boat, and the boat was full of water. The boat got tossed around. It was nearly sinking, going down. 
and Jesus' disciples were very frightened. And sometimes things happen to us that make us afraid. We need God in our lives. We have a loving Heavenly Father who wants to help us. He just wants us to come to Him and, and turn to Him and ask Him for help. And you know, the people in the boats were frightened too. The storm was dangerous. And Jesus' disciples thought they were following the Lord. But He put them to the test. He went to sleep. He had his head on a pillow. He was testing their faith. Did they still trust him? He was the Lord. Whether he was awake or asleep, they should have trusted him. They had trusted him on land. They should have trusted him at sea. But they were afraid. Sometimes God tests our faith. When everything is good, it is easy to trust the Lord. But when things go wrong, it, it, it can be hard. Jesus' disciples forgot who Jesus was. He is God. He is their creator. They should have trusted him. Do we believe that he is God? Jesus wanted them to pray. They woke him up. Master, they said, do you not care if we perish? And Jesus got up and spoke. He spoke to the wind and the sea. Actually, it says he, he rebuked the winds and said to the sea, peace be still. And the wind stopped and there was a great calm. All was quiet. Sometimes we have storms in our lives, hard times. And it seems like the Lord is asleep, like he is not hearing. We pray and we feel like God is not hearing our prayers. But God does not sleep. We can always turn to the Saviour. When Jesus spoke to the wind, it went quiet, the sea too, all was still. And so too, when we have troubles, Jesus can bring peace to our hearts and lives. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Have you no faith? Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And we read, and they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Jesus had wanted his disciples to trust him, but they were very scared. They saw that the wind and sea obeyed Jesus, and they said one to another, What kind of man is this, that even the wind and sea obey him? They saw his power, they knew he was no ordinary man, all the other boats would have seen the storm stop too. They would have been frightened as well. They were all in danger until Jesus spoke. This was a miracle. Jesus was showing he was the Son of God. He had control over the wind and the sea. When we pray to the Lord for help, he will come to help us too. Nothing is too hard for God. He can change us. He can help us to love him. He can forgive us of our sins. No one else can do that. No one else can speak to the wind and sea and it will obey them. Jesus has changed the lives of millions of people. He shows his great power day by day, answering prayers, helping people. He is all powerful and he does not change. This Jesus is the same Jesus we pray to today. The same Jesus who can storm. He is the Lord of all. We can make Jesus sad by not believing in him. He came to die on, on the cross. He came from heaven. 
He came to save us from our sin. How sad for people who refuse to trust him. They trust in other things. How sad when people turn away from the Saviour. He is the ruler of the sea. He came to this world to save us. Call out to him today and, and trust him. In, in Psalm 46.10 we read, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Jesus made the sea still, the wind still, and he can make your heart still too. Just trust him. Trust him today and be blessed. And we have some, some questions. Did Jesus teach many people? Yes, he did. Did he go about doing good? Yes, he did. Where was Jesus when all this happened? On a boat? At sea? And um, what happened when they were out on the boat? What happened? What came? A storm. Was it windy? Yes. Did water come into the boat? Yes. Were the disciples frightened? Yes. Was Jesus awake or asleep? Well, he was asleep at first, but then the disciples woke him up to the day. Did the disciples wake him? That was my next question. Yes, they did. What did Jesus do? When the disciples woke him up, what did Jesus do? He spoke to the wind and the sea. Did it calm down? Yes, it did. What did he say? What words did he use? Peace, be still. Did the wind and sea obey him? Yes. This Jesus who calms the storm, is he the same Jesus we pray to? Yes, he is. Can he help us? Yes. Can he still our hearts? Yes. Who is he? The Son of God. Do we need to trust him? Yes, we do. We all need to trust in the Lord Jesus. He came from heaven and he died on Calvary's cross to pay the penalty for our sins. And we need to come to him and ask him to forgive us for our sins and wash us in the precious blood of the Lamb and make us white as snow. We need to trust him believe in him. He is the saviour. He was sent by God and he's our saviour. And so we're going to end up there. And that's one miracle we've done today. We're going to do another miracle next week. Today we learned about how Jesus had power over nature. And next week we'll learn how Jesus had power over death. We'll learn about the raising of Jairus' daughter. And so we'll have a look at that next week. And so for now we'll just have a little prayer to close off. I'd like to close your eyes once again. And bow your heads humbly before God. And if you haven't trusted the Lord Jesus already, I, I just urge you to trust him today. Just look to him and trust him. Confess your sins to, to the Lord.
the Lord and repent of your sins, turn away from your sins. Trust in Jesus as your Saviour. Dear Lord God and Father in heaven, I thank you Lord for each child listening in and thank you Lord for your word to us today and I just pray Lord God that you would bless the word to the hearts of each one of the children and I pray Lord if there's any unsaved children listening in Lord that, that Lord you would draw them to thyself Lord and that they may hear the words of life this day and for those children who are saved Lord I Pray that they will be strengthened in their faith and that they will grow in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, just bless each child, Lord. We thank you for each child who listens in. And we commiss each one of them unto thee, Lord, and their families too. Bless each family's sake, oh Lord. Be with the children for this week, Lord, until we meet again next week. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so thank you for being with us today and Lord willing we'll be with you again next week. Thank you. <laughs>